What is good, Fight Fans? It's Ashley's Corner. Shout out to the LDBC. Man, I've been doing a lot. It's every time I plan on doing something, some something pops up. It's a story of my life. I can't keep <laughs> I can't keep a week to myself without something popping up and ruining plans, but I gotta talk about this fight. I've been quiet about it. I've been marinating <laughs> about the whole situation in the fight and exactly what people are saying about both Carissa Shields and Christina Hammer separately. Now, I think this this fight right here is going to be important to both fighters because if Hammer loses this fight, her her life as she knows it as far as her career in boxing might change a little bit. Hell, it might change a lot. I know for Carissa Shields, it's probably like Carissa Shields is going to be is going to become the one. She already has endorsements, commercials, and stuff like that, but it's going to amplify. It's going to shoot up. It's going to skyrocket. Okay, she's she's going to get everything and more that she ever deserved as far as being a boxer, as far as her career is concerned. If she can beat. Christina Hammer, because as everybody know, everybody has that that one. Like Floyd Mayweather was that one, okay. And basketball, Michael Jordan was that one. When it comes to women's bas women's uh, boxing right now, it seems like Carissa Shields is that one. When you look on the other side, this this woman from Germany, okay, uh, Christina Hammer is the one over there. You know what I mean? So this is this is like their main fighter against our main fighter. This is this is sparks are going to fly in the ring. Um, I guarantee it. This is it should be a sold out event. A lot of people are going to come to see this. This is a very very important fight. I can't I can't stress that enough. But let me just get on into it. I didn't talk enough. I'm gonna start with Christina Hammer. All right. And real quick about her specs. Um. Christina Hammer is 24 and 0. She has 11 knockouts. She's fought for 168 rounds. She has a 44% knockout rating. She's 28 years old. 5'11, a reach of 71 inches. And she fights out of Germany and she's an Orthodox fighter. Now, she does have a good jab. Everybody knows she has a good jab. You know, she has a pretty sneaky uppercut. Whenever she uses it, because she doesn't, in my opinion, she doesn't use it enough. She What she does is, I don't think any female boxer utilizes the uppercut as much as anything else. They never, they really never used the uppercut. You know, Gabriel's used it on, on Car Carissa Shields and dropped her. But I'm just telling you, the girls really don't use uppercuts like that. So when Hammer uses it, 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 it works, you know. But, you know... What she does is throws combinations well. In my opinion, she is a, she do have a good jab, but she throws combinations well. And when it comes to female fighters, unlike male fighters, what uh, what females lack is 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 very quick feet. The in and out, as far as what I'm saying, using angles in and out, quick feet. No, I'm um, being able to get in and throw one or two punches and, and come and actually. Move both of their feet to get out of range without getting hit. Girls isn't nearly as fast as guys when it comes to that. Not nearly as fast. And in saying that, when since um, she has such a good reach advantage, since uh, Hammer has a good reach advantage on damn near everybody she fights, what happens is is these girls will come will come in and throw one or two two shots. And uh, and uh, Hammer would be just steadily bouncing on her toes. All she does is take a step to the left, right, or back to get out of reach. And right when the punches stop, she steps in with a combination of her own. And since she has, since she's on her toes and with a longer reach, she actually connects on her combinations. That's how her fights go. Period. That's it. The girls that she's fighting, I agree one hundred percent with Carissa Shields. She hasn't fought nobody. That who she fought, Nikki Nikki Adler or whatever the person that um that uh Carissa Shields fought. I think she I think Hammer fought her what last year or something like that. Listen, Nikki Adler, I no disrespect, 
She's old. She fights like she's old. She moves her legs like she's old. She's slow. And she's, I mean, she couldn't get her out there either. I mean, but that's exactly how the fight looks. All right? And I agree, the girl cannot fight a lick on the inside. Not one lick, okay? Christina Shield, Christina Hammer cannot fight on the inside. I'm going to tell you this, all right? I'm going to put this fight into the description box below, just in case if anybody didn't see it. I don't. You don't even have to go look for it. I'm going to put it in. In the uh, description box. Um, what's the girl name? I think her name is... Yeah, her name is Anna Sophia Mathis. That girl fought Christina Hammer a few years ago. I don't know, 2014. The, the year doesn't matter because she still fights the exact same way. Okay? And the reason why this I'm pointing this fight out because the girl um, Mathis that she was fighting was the same height as she was. Probably the same reach advantage. It, I mean, the same reach. There was no advantage in reach. So she had to come up with a different plan to fight her. And it's kind of like she knew what she was doing really wasn't going the way she wanted it to go. It wasn't working that well as it would work on everybody else she fought. And it's like, you know, she got really, They robbed that girl, okay? <laughs> no bull, okay? And the whole fight, like, I mean, most of the fight, Christina Hammer fought like Klitschko. That's how she fights in a lot of her fights. She has a great jab like Klitschko. You get on the side, she holds. Or she get on the inside, she holds, you know, lets you set back up for she can keep you on the outside. It's a jab and hold type style. Like, she can't fight on the inside. Like, that's just, it is. <laughs> anytime you watch any of her, hi not highlights, but anytime you watch any of her fights, watch her fights, when you see the girl get on the inside and start working to the body or whatever, okay, what she does is she'll hold and look at the ref. She'll hold and look at the ref. All right. You know how, you know, and she'll, she'll just wait for the ref to break it up. For she can set back up and do, and fight how she want to fight. Fight her fight. You know how when ref tell men, you know, fight out of the hold or fight out of it or whatever. Nuh-uh. Uh-uh. This girl, Mathis, that's what she did. And she cried about getting punched behind the head. Now, if y'all can look at the screen... You can see these punches are laying right on the tent, right on the temple, right on the side of her head. A whole glove is plush, kissing the side of Hammer's head, the side of it. She cried about it being a uh, being the behind the head, and, that, and I'm gonna let, let me tell you this: the girl Hammer's holding her left head, her her uh the fighter's left arm like a baby, like an infant. She every time the girl got in close. She would hold her let hold her arm like an infant. The whole fight. This this happened freaking what twenty minutes into I mean twenty seconds into the fifth round. This is, go you can check it. All right, it's in the description box, and they said they disqualified the girl. And Hammer Hammer won that fight. They disqualified her for punching her inside. It wasn't it wasn't a late hit. She claimed she got hit in the back of the head and she milked it. She laid down, act like she got up, act like she was wobbly. They wobbly. They let her sit down and fanned her face. All of that. You know, like it was it was dirty, y'all. I really hope in this fight, the refs, the ref, I'm sorry, the ref is a good one. A ref is American ref and is not playing this these these games. You know what I'm saying? Because the ref know damn well that it wasn't behind the head. And the whole fight is in a different language. And you could tell when they rewinded and slowed it down, the commentators was giggling about the shit. Like, couldn't understand what they were saying. I couldn't understand what they were saying, but she was they was giggling. Like, it's not behind the head. It's just not, you know? They robbed that girl, Mathis, period. They robbed her. And for her to be who she is, Hammer, she's supposed to be, um, have a lot of honor in this sport. That's not that they, she straight up cheated that chick, yo. She cheated her. No, no bull. Just because she can't fight on the inside and what she was doing wasn't working. So I'm just saying, I'm putting that out there. I hope they have some a good ref and good and three good judges. All right. I don't want no games. Don't play no games on this. All right. Now I'm gonna talk about our uh, women's champion, Carissa Shields. Shields is eight and zero, oh, two KOs. She's fought for 61 rounds. She has a 25% knockout rate. And she's 24 years old. She's 5'8 with a 68-inch reach. Okay. 
Of course, she's from Flint, Mich Michigan. Of course, she's an uh, Orthodox fighter as well. Now, the only thing that's, that you see as far as both of the stats, as far as difference, is, you know, uh, Christina Hammer's been long, been has a lot more fights, a lot more rounds. A lot more rounds, okay? And um, Krista Shields, uh, Chris Shields is four years younger, but Hammer has, what, what is it? A three-inch reach advantage. Okay, when it comes to 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 reach advantages and the people that she's fought, <laughs> she the reach advantage has been astronomical. Like three inches is not even that much as far as the people that Christina Hammer is used to fighting. Okay, but um, Shields is a great fighter. You know, uh, I do see that sometimes when she gets very comfortable in the ring. And, you know, she feels like she's dogging the other opponent, opponent. She will not use the jab and go for straight right hand punches or uh, looping, jet, looping hooks. And she did that uh, when she fought Gabriel's. She was throwing, she, instead of throwing a jab somewhere, and I think the fourth round, fifth, something like that, uh, before she, before she touched the mat, she, um, she was throwing like, really wide overhand rights and stuff like that, you know. And Gabriel's threw it up that, that left uppercut and timed her. Like Gabriel's timed her. She waited until she, you know, was throwing that she she started throwing that com that combination. Um Gabriel slipped it to the left through that left uppercut and followed it with a right hook that really didn't matter because it was the uppercut that looked like it really did it. You know what I'm saying? And honestly it just caught she was off guard. I don't think it hurt her, you know, it just caught her off guard and knocked her off her feet for a second. And she didn't throw no more punches like that for the rest of the fight. You understand what I'm saying? It's the reason why she stopped doing it. You know, uh, Gabriel's was throwing, uh, was throwing quick. Like when she got on the inside, Gabriel's was throwing them right down Broadway, right down Broad Street, right down the middle. So all of those looping shots that she was throwing wasn't getting there faster than Gabriel's punches was getting there. If you understand what I'm saying. This is something that she's going to have to look for in this fight. All right. She cannot be throwing looping shots at him. That's the only thing that I see that I don't want, want Shields to be doing. Please do not throw looping shots at this girl. All right. Keys to victory. And the only keys that I have is for Shields because Shields is going to win this fight. I don't care how how much she swing the hammer, the shield is right there. All right, wrench, shit, a wrench, a hammer, a screwdriver, doesn't matter. She got a shield. All right, she just got what she has to do is utilize her defense a lot. Her defense has to be more important important than her offense in this fight because I think anytime ham uh, hammer's going to do anything, the crowd's going to go wild. Even if he she she's swinging and miss, crowd's still gonna go wild. Like awesome fury type shit when he fought Wilder. That's just what I think, you know. I don't know who's gonna be in the building, but it's possible. That's usually how sometimes well, sometimes that's how these fights go. You know, you do something small, the crowd's gonna go wild, you know what I'm saying? It just makes the viewer and the fans at home think that something happened that really didn't, you know. But all Christine, all um, Carissa Shields have to do is fight her, fight this girl on the inside. This is this fight's going to be taking place in New Jersey. Atlanta will be on Showtime. It's going to be a ten round fight. They probably add two rounds to it. Who knows? Probably fight week. I don't know. But right now online it says ten rounds. They're probably going to make it twelve. But this is for all the marbles at middleweight, all the belts, even the ring magazine joints. So it's like five belts on the line. This is for everything. No mistakes. No cheating. No bullshit. I need three good refs. I mean, three good judges and a ref that don't that's not on his own agenda. That's all I'm asking for. That's it. And Carissa Shields will win this fight. But all she has to do is fight on the inside. And when 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 Nikki, I mean, when uh Hammer sitting there staring at the ref, she should be going. She should be fighting this girl at the body. Hammer is going to turn her head away. And make it seem like, you know, something foul is going on. She's not, when when Krista, Sh when Krista Shields get her on the inside, watch her turn her head away so Krista Shields can pur pur purposely punch her behind head. I need the ref to look out for that, you know. But Krista Shields, I mean, uh, yeah, Shields just need to be herself. She need to be patient. She need to think about defense. 
a lot in this fight. Her offense is fine. The only thing I just, I just want her to tighten up them shots and let them be real crisp, accurate, straight shots. Like as far as don't, you know, however tight you can make that, make that jab. I mean, make that hook, make it, you know, this, this right here, this fight, she can really embarrass Chris. I mean, embarrass hammer. Yo, she can really embarrass Christina hammer during this fight. I don't see hammer doing anything. To really stumble Shields. I think Shields is ready. I think she uh she's becoming she's becoming a fighter with very little flaws. And I really think what if, if anything's wrong with her game that uh Hammer's team probably know of, I still don't think Hammer can take advantage of it. Whatever they see, I don't think Hammer can take advantage of it. I don't think she can do it. I just don't think so. I mean, I get it already. I'm a tall. I when I, I when I was doing my my boxing for the small amount of time that I did it. Everybody said the same thing. Nobody really wanted to spar me just because I was tall and I have long arms. So I understand what Hammer's doing. I understand it. I really do. But the fact that she can't fight on the inside when you're fighting shorter fighters give the shorter fighter a a bit a, a gives them an upper hand in America anyway. Like just I mean, all the refs allowed her not to fight on the inside, like some Joshua versus Parker type shit. You know, Anthony Joshua versus Parker when it couldn't fight on the inside, like that shit. We fighting in America. Hopefully, we have a good a good ref. And they'll allow fighting on the inside. This fight probably won't even go the distance. If Shields can get in there and get her hands on Hammer on the inside, she ain't going to be able to, She she's not going to be able to handle Shields. This fight probably won't go 10 rounds or 12 rounds or whatever the case may be. You know? But I have Shields winning this fight. Regardless. There's no way. Shields is winning this fight. Shields is not going to be the one to throw it there. Like, she's not going to allow Hammer to do what she's been doing. Hammer, wait. Like, she'll sit on her toes and just wait till you finish throwing. You know what I'm saying? And just continue backing up and getting out of range. And then she'll jump in and throw in her punches. Like, I don't think... I think Christy... I think uh, Carissa Shields did work. Like, she's been studying her. And I know she see what I see. She's not going to let her do that shit. If she don't see it, I know her team see it. It's not going to happen. She got a plan for all of that. And this is going to be kind of, this is going to be, it could be, I should say, this could be a one-sided fight, like some Mikey type Earl type shit. It really can. It can be. And people say that this is her toughest fight. The reason why, the reason why um, Shields is, is saying that this is not her toughest fight is because um, Hammer never been in a tough fight. Like she can't be her toughest fight because she ain't never did nothing. T like Hammer Gabriel Gabriel's put her on the mat. Some other fighter cut her face. Like that's tough. Ain't nothing tough about Hammer. It's not tough. What I do think is that this is going. This is her most important fight. It's the most important. I can't give. Uh, I can't give uh, Hammer more respect. As far as her record is concerned, her uh, resume is concerned. Like, I can't say that she's tougher than Gabriel's. I can't say that she's tougher than the other fighters that she fought. I just can't. I can't. And I see why Shields can't say that either. Especially if, she, I mean, she hasn't even fought the chick. From the outside, it's the most important fight. Not the toughest. You know, um, fighters over there in Germany isn't as, you know... They're not as good as American fighters. Like, the best fighters fight here. Like, these are where the, the great competition is. So, regardless of all the wins she got, do we even know if she can take a punch? Krista Shields can take a punch. But nobody's talking about Hammer's chin. And I really don't think she has one. But always like and subscribe to the channel. You see, I had a lot to say about this fight. And I really have a lot more. But that's it and that's all. Peace.